Daily devotionals for January 5th. Today's scripture reading will be Proverbs 12, verses 21 and 22. No grave trouble will overtake the righteous, but the wicked shall be filled with evil. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who deal truthfully are his delight. You know, those are powerful words. We have been in a season, in fact, I would say a rather long season of uh, learning to bridle our tongue. Um, maybe it's just been me, but I know the Lord has really dealt with me to, uh, to speak righteous things, to not speak, you know, we have thoughts and those thoughts turn into words that uh, can be harmful to others. We need to be speaking words of wisdom, words of truth, words of healing, words of edification. You know, it's we need to be taking our every thought captive and not allowing some of those thoughts to turn into words and come out of our mouth because they can be very harmful to other people. And scripture says, okay, no grave trouble. So nothing bad is going to overtake the righteous. But the wicked, they'll be filled with evil. Well, they are filled with evil. Turn on the news and you'll see. Lying lips, they're an abomination to the Lord. That's why it is so important that we not speak everything that comes into our head. You know, have you ever been around any somebody that just, they're just blurt stuff out all the time? Well, once that word is out there, you can't take it back. And the enemy uses that against you and against, you know, it opens a door for the enemy to really use those words against you. Um, but those who deal truthfully, you know, if we use our words to heal and to exhort, you know, to edify others, edify ourselves. You know, uh, you can be speaking some real condemning things about yourself. <laughs> now, I look in the mirror and I see that I have uh, a few years on me, but I believe what the Lord said. He's restoring my youth. I may see when I step on the scales, I am somewhat overweight, but you know what? I'm getting younger. I got to be weighing what I did when I was about 35 or 40, right? So I'm going to have a different approach to my own self. You know, I want to speak good things. You know, if you have aches and pains in your body, you know, thank God that you can feel that pain. Do you know there's people that are unable to feel any pain? You know, they're in a coma. Are you, you know, if you've got an ache and a pain, okay, thank you, Lord. Listen, Pray for yourself to be healed. You don't need to run to the minister or somebody with the healing ministry. You have the Holy Spirit in you. You know, Christ is the healer. And by his stripes, you've already been healed. So use those words to uh, minister to yourself as well. Okay? So let's watch what we say. Use our words. You know, we want to be a delight to the Lord and no evil is going to come. No grave evil or trouble will come against the righteous. And this is the year the Lord is judging judgment for the wicked, or you'd say the unrighteous, and justice for the righteous. So let's be thoughtful. Okay. All right. Till next time. Be blessed.